Today I'm going to attempt to fix this Logitech G602 and the issue with it is uh, the middle mouse button uh, stopped working. Uh, so there's a little switch in there that I need to replace. Uh, I'm hoping to obtain a switch uh, from another Logitech mouse. I'm assuming that it has a similar switch that I can use and place into this one. The right and left click work fine, but the middle mouse button, it doesn't uh, work right. And as a matter of fact, it it messes up when I when I try to scroll at times because it it switches back and forth randomly between the uh, two modes. So uh, we're going to attempt to fix it. That's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. To uh, get to the contents of the mouse, you need to remove each one of these pads. Under these pads are screws that need to be accessed. And the key to reusing these pads is uh, to use a uh, tool that you can get underneath the adhesive part of the pad. You want to make sure you see plastic underneath when you pry these up. Uh, and that way you preserve the uh, sticky side and you can reuse those and reinsert the pads. So there's one off. And this tool makes it pretty easy to get these off and you want to of course sit those down um, so that you don't ruin the sticky side. Those are coming off pretty easy. And I got this large one here. And this little tool I bought to repair cell phones uh, works pretty nicely for that. Alright, so once you've I've done that, you've exposed the screws. Alright, so I'm using uh, this little screwdriver to remove the screws and we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and remove those. There's one. I should have started off with removing the, the batteries out of here. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, with the screws out, we can go ahead and remove the case. And as you do this, you'll notice that there is a ribbon that's attached. And to remove this ribbon, uh, you simply need to kind of pull up, get a screwdriver down in here so you can see better. Just pull up on this and then this should come right out which it does we can set that to the side okay and so now the button that isn't working properly is here this is the one that's broken so before we go any further I want to see if the button in the wired mouse uh, is similar to this but I have several mice uh, uh, so I'll I'll look at uh, other ones if I don't see a match on this one. So we'll set that on the side. We'll take our wired mouse and see if I can get to it just with this removing this screw here. I don't know if there's additional screws under those pads or not. We'll try to remove this and see if that'll do it. So that is out. And it appears that's the only one. It and I am not seeing the mouse switch so I don't know where that is on this so this one doesn't have a center click so that's not gonna work so I found this uh, newer wireless mouse that I have and I think on this one um, I 
not sure what what happened to it but it was not working properly so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this and see if I can use the switch the mouse switch out of this one it appears that that switch is working properly we'll see if it's a match uh, for a replacement in in this gaming mouse and let's see if by chance the screw is under the battery compartment We got two screws down in there. It's kind of difficult to see, but they're down at the bottom, two of them. So we'll go ahead and remove those. Ah, lo and behold, uh, it's kind of hard for the camera to see it, but there is a switch under there that appears will work. This looks like that just snaps in there, so we're going to take it out. So there's the wheel out, and here, as you can see, uh, is the switch. And that button is working fine. So we're going to remove that and use that to replace uh, the bad switch in my gaming mouse. Okay, so we have access to this switch we basically need to uh, unsolder those points um, those four solder points here and then once we unsolder that I can um, work on removing the board on the other mouse so that I can replace that switch so let me heat up my iron so as my iron's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, access this board and I need to first remove the battery carriage. Uh, so there's a screw here and a screw here and also one in the back. So three screws appear to be holding that in place. So let's go ahead and uh, remove those. All right those three screws are out and this comes out and I can just unplug that there we go was being stubborn we'll set that off to the side and then we have two screws that are holding the motherboard in here or the board and There's one. Okay. So there we have it. The board is out. And I just have to replace the switch at this point. So I think my iron is good and hot. So I'm going to see if I can't heat up those points to remove the bad switch alright took a bit of work but I did get the old one out there's the four contacts for the old uh, switch now I need to remove the switch from this board and again well heat up these in an attempt to remove that switch as well alright switches out so there is the switch from my other mouse and so I'm gonna bring my board back into the picture here and basically I need to be able to reinsert those into these holes here so let's see if we have any luck doing that okay with much persistence I got the switch in place and I think you can hear it's it's working fine uh, 
it was much easier when it, when I took my um, side cuts and shortened the length of the legs that needed to go through the solder holes. It helped uh, align, align the holes a lot easier. And then when I did that, I would just heat heat it this side and allowed them to poke through. And uh, it was much easier to mount that way. So with that uh, switch in place, we need to go ahead and reassemble. So the first step is to re-secure the board in place. And we'll reinsert these screws to secure the board. Second screw in this corner. Okay, so my switch is still working. Looks to be good. Alright, next step is to take the battery compartment and of course you got to put it in the right way. So take the battery compartment. We'll go ahead and plug in the plug. The plug's in place. And now it's just a matter of reinserting the three screws that hold the battery compartment. Screw number three. Next step is to re-secure the ribbon. I want to make sure that the printed side is out. There it is, and snap that in place. All right, that's secure. Then it's a matter of replacing the top, and then reinserting the remaining screws. Okay, and then it's a matter of reattaching the adhesive pads. Alright, we're down to the moment of truth. Let me remove this. Let's reinsert the batteries. Let's uh, put the cover back on. Covers back in place. And for the moment of truth. Okay, I'm ready to test the mouse and I have two mice hooked up at the same time and the reason for that will be apparent in just a moment. Um, <clears throat> when I tested the mouse, I found that the right click is working fine, the left click works fine, I can hold it down and, and still select text. The scroll is working fine, uh, however when I do press the middle button to change modes, uh, nothing happens. Um, so that's good and bad. It's good because uh, it was randomly changing modes before uh, and that's not good uh, and it was also by changing those modes that mode is also used can be used to open up new tabs so it was doing all kind of squirrely things so in that respect I'm glad that uh, at least that's not happening uh, anymore. What it's supposed to do just to show you, I'm going to use a mouse that does have a center button that works as it should. So when you click the center button on this mouse, you see that image toggle back and forth. And what that does, it's sort of an auto scroll. So you move your mouse forward, it scrolls up. You move your mouse back, it scrolls down. If the page was larger than what fit in the screen, uh, you could go left and right with this. I really don't use that feature that much, so I'm not really uh, disappointed that it doesn't work. Um, however, uh, I am pleased that it's not going to be randomly switching between those modes because that messed me up not only when I was on an internet page but also during gaming situations. So in that regard, the fix was a success, uh, but not a total success. I happen to think that 
perhaps maybe um, it was the orientation, the way I soldered that switch in. I did take it apart again and I checked uh, the solder points just to make sure that the contacts were good and everything looks good on it. So I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, if anybody out there might have suggestions of, of what I may have done wrong that knows more about uh, that sort of thing, I would appreciate your comments. So appreciate you watching today. Hopefully you found this uh, content useful. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so. Got a lot of good content on here, more good content coming. Uh, and if you don't want to miss that content, be sure you hit that uh, notification bell. When you hit that notification bell, uh, that ensures that you'll be notified anytime I post new content. So you want to be sure to do that as well. Hey, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time. <music>